The birds are squawking, the bees are buzzing, and I am getting ready to finally take on this project of transforming our beautiful river biome right here and connecting up our base to our stronghold transformation project. If you enjoy my hardcore survival world content, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to see more. Now, before we get into the river biome transformation itself, I've had a bit of an idea. You see, I really don't like this flower farm. So instead, I think we are going to build for ourselves a couple of flower farms up here. And since we're gonna need emeralds to actually buy bookshelves from the librarians, we have a few farmer villagers down there which are going to need a pumpkin and melon farm. So the pumpkin and melon farm is now all built. I will leave the links in the description for the tutorial that I did follow to make this. Now you will see that I made a change. We did have all of the items being dropped off into a chest up here, but because my farmer villagers are actually down there, I decided to switch it to the other side. So if we head down here, you will see that I brought the all of the items down here and it drops off into this chest right here. And then I have made a ladder into where my farmer villagers are actually located. But now we have to decorate this thing. And I think we are gonna make this fairly simple just with some spruce wood and some spruce stairs and make for ourselves a little bit of a flower box that we can then create our own custom flowers inside of. We might need to make those flowers a little bit shorter once we get the flower pots in on the back. So I don't know, uh, uh, you know what? Like we'll just keep going, seeing what those little flower pots actually look like once we get them built. And we'll decide if we are gonna be keeping this or not. I've made a couple changes. I dropped down the flowers so they're just kind of sitting on top of the box and we have our pots in the background. The pots are in line with the middle of our librarian space there. The box is not, so I might move to the box and move it out a little bit further, add in a few more flowers, or maybe we'll put something else in this corner just to kind of fill it out. Well, this took me way longer to figure out than it should have, but we now have a flower farm inside of this little sunflower-esque thing. Uh, so it works. I don't have bone meal in there, so it's not going to work, but basically it will keep bone mealing uh, the sunflower. And then because we have it placed on mud, the mud lets it go down through and into a hopper, which then goes into this barrel and we get a whole bunch of sunflowers. We got this one going and now I need to do the other three here and get those flower farms moved over this direction. Adding in the trees here has 100% helped out with this area and kind of made it feel like everything fits together, which is beautiful. Now, I did not go all the way back with the trees back here because I do think I'm going to put another building in this area, whether it's into the wall like we have with the hobbit hole down there with the librarian spot or if we actually put a building on top, but I do think we're gonna put another building back here, so I decided not to extend the trees. But the rest of this looks kinda of cool, and down here we also have removed the old flower farms and uh, just kinda of covered up this space. It's gonna change up a little bit when we come in here and actually uh, fix up the river. Which, speaking about transforming the river, I think now that we have our flower farms moved and our pumpkin and melon farm done, and of course all the villagers into their homes, there's nothing else stopping us to actually get going on our river transformation. However, we have been building and digging and, you know, clearing up this area for a little bit. And I do think that we are gonna want some mud for this project and I don't have any. So maybe let me go empty my inventory, grab the one shell core box that we do have and head on back over to the lovely mangrove swamp and get ourselves a whole bunch of mud. Mud has now been gathered and it's time to get into the shaping of our river. Oh, 
Well, we got ourselves our nicely terraformed river. Let's see if we can actually get through here comfortably the whole way. This might be a little bit tight. We could maybe, uh, oh, ow. Yeah, it's a little bit tight. Okay, we'll need to come back and fix that. Looks like I forgot to uh, fill this side in with water. Beautiful, okay. Yeah, this is looking good. And then out here, this is just regular river. It's fairly large, but I think we can put a few kind of cool fishing boats in this area. We might want to like dig this down a bit. It's a little bit high, but this space is actually a decent size. I don't think we need to widen that at all. And we can come along here pretty smoothly as well. So let me do a little bit of fixing here and there with like lowering the river a couple of places. And then, uh, yeah, we need to get to do, do some decorating. I think guys that we've got this done look at it it goes all the way back to our base and continues all the way down there to where we hopefully will be going into our stronghold project it's just a simple kind of detailing but i really like it i think it's come together super nicely and we got the beautiful sugar cane here and some leaves and of course some texture on the ground oh my goodness i love it but we're not done yet we need boats in the water and we're going to need a beautiful path here along the side so that we can, you know, horse around a little bit if we want to or just simply walk to our stronghold project. So I'm thinking for our boats, they're going to be kind of small because even though we could have like a larger one in this lake, I do kind of want some a little bit closer by, which is going to make them somewhat smaller. Because this is going to be such a small fishing boat, I think if we put stairs across potentially like this, then I do think I want to strip the log. I've never made a ship this small, so it's, well, it's going to be an interesting one. Okay, I don't love this, but you know what? Uh, we've barely started, so we can probably do more. I'm going to need a few more stairs, though. Okay, what about this? Does this look a little bit more boat-like shaped? That is a little bit better. I think the only thing we're going to do is we are going to remove this down bottom. You know what? It's going to be easier to do it from up here. Uh, I just, I don't think I like, I thought I would like the log, but I think it's just too much. That looks like a better boat. Oh yeah, okay, I like it. I mean, it kind of looks like a ship, that's for sure, but it's also kind of boring. So we need some like little decoration pieces, you know? Would it be better to just have like trap doors on the side? That could maybe be a better one. Yeah, and then down here, I would really like to see a little bit of a sail kind of idea. Uh, jump, there we go. Yeah, like it's a simple boat and it's probably too far down in the water, but we're going to leave it. <laughs> and you know what? We'll see them evolve as we go. <laughs> Guys, that's actually kind of cute. We'll work on it. It's not perfect. Let's, it's definitely not perfect, but hey, it's something. Well, I've added one more boat in over on this side of the lake river. <laughs> and then of course we have those two boats over there. And I even added in a little dock just in front of our lovely librarian trading hall. And I think this is looking great, but this is not all that I want to do. I do still really want to make a path through here that we could, you know, walk along. And I would love to do some custom trees. We'll see if we have time in this episode for the custom trees, but we definitely have time to build in a path. But we're gonna start from the very beginning. 
And that beginning is going to be over here because we have our path right here coming from our main base and the castle. And then we have this little direction which goes into our zombie spawner. But I would like to continue this path over the land and go that direction. So we are just going to grab our shovel and we're gonna get to work. And we're just going to kind of mark out a path as best we can. Uh, this is gonna take a minute. It is a little bit of a distance and there's gonna be, you know, some tree cutting I'll have to do, but I'll bring you guys back when we have at least a little bit of a semblance of an order to this pathway. I want our path to be more than just the path blocks, but I'm also a little low on the resources. So I do think we're just going to use a bunch of coarse dirt for the path. And we do have to fix this because of how I had to switch it down bottom uh, for the tunnel. Yeah, it's looking a little weird. Uh, we're gonna have to fix it, but that will come a little bit later. For now, I think we just start um, doing this and putting for ourselves our coarse dirt all the way along our path. On to digging and replacing. Isn't it just amazing what a simple path will do to your build? Oh my goodness, like this was so simple to do just to add in the coarse dirt but it looks so good and I haven't even finished adding in all of the detailing. For the lights along the path, I think we're gonna go super simple. So we're just gonna like add in a little bit of fence here and maybe a couple pieces of greenery. This is kind of an awkward one to show it on and just a light. So we'll just kind of go back and forth along here just to kind of get in that light little bit of fence and a little bit more details than what we had before and I think it'll I think it'll be fine like it doesn't need to be anything wild and crazy like we just need something simple I think I've done it I think this whole thing is now spawn proof uh, at least the path is. I'm not promising that the surrounding areas are very spawn proof. I'm sure up here the light levels don't quite get to where we need them. But I've realized something. We can't even experience this lovely path in the way that we should and that is on the back of a horse. Because I don't have a horse. I've never tamed one. Now thankfully I do actually own a saddle or two. So we're just gonna head back to our base over here into our lovely hobbit hull and see if we can't find ourselves our saddle. I am sure that we had a saddle. Why can I not find a saddle, guys? Oh, because I'm blind, that's why, perfect. Ah oh, man, flying over this pathway and seeing it all done and all of the greenery along our river, so nice, I love it. There's a horse. Hi, horsey. Oh, and you're pretty in black. I know, you're not tamed. Be my friend. Yeah, he's my friend. <laughs> but let's see how this little road goes with a horsey. I tried to make sure that you could get through, so I'm hoping I took down enough trees to make that possible. Oh, this is quite smooth. This is nice. Oh my goodness, guys, look at this. This is so nice. Definitely the way that this road should be uh, walked on. <laughs> I really like this. I think the only thing that I would consider is right now, we don't really have a path over to our villagers at this moment, or even like our bee farm. So it could be nice to try and put in a couple of bridges. This first little bridge, I think we're just going to put across right here. Yeah, so now we have a path down. We go across our bridge and we take our blocks here. Uh, we need to move this tree. And when I say move, I mean we need to tear it down. 
We are not moving it. I'm sorry. It's just going away. Then we should be able to get to our lovely path right here and we can easily access this area. So let's move our little horsey. By the way, we definitely need a name for our black beauty here. So uh, feel free to leave those in the comments. Okay, it is certainly something. I am tempted here uh, to actually just add in this along the edge. Well, I'm not entirely sure it's my favorite bridge, but you know what? It works and it gets us from point A to point B. But guys, what do you think? This is looking so nice. We have done a lot of work today in just getting this place a much more terraformed and beautiful. But I do think with all of that work that we have done today, that we are gonna call this episode good and done. We've got bridges, we've got paths, and we've got a beautiful custom tree set and new flower farms. So if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.